we do is before going, we will just bring you an interview that we have with the executive director of the foundation responsible for these beautiful ideas. Um, we process mango into delicious jam. It all started when our partners from South Germany called Help for West Africa started supporting our skills training center. That is John Pickering Skills Training Center. They, they bring us fabric and other materials and in the course of it, they realize that this mango just now near our plant um, bears a lot of fruits. And by their experience of the Gambia during the mango season, a lot of fruits fall down and get rot. They said in back at home in South Germany, all the food they consume in winter are processed during summer. Then they decide to transfer that technology to us. They brought stoves and all the necessary materials. They came in passing as a group and give us about uh, two, three weeks training on how to process mango into jam. Um, processing depends on what is available at uh, each season. We are just at the end of the mango season. Since in June, July, August, we have been processing mango jam and we hope up to end of September mangoes will be available. So if mangoes are not available, you are no longer processing? Um, there is always something available because we, we process popo into jam. During the orange season, we make orange marmalade. And uh, in December, January, February, we process granite cake. And actually, for most part of the season, granite is available. So, um, at, yeah, yeah, year-round process. Um, you just mentioned uh, about mango in particular as a plant. We saw that you, maybe you have one or two three mango trees in your plant. But because today what we experienced was a big pan of mangoes um, that, are, that were brought here. And I understand it is not something that you grow in this plant. Did you buy them or did you have a garden somewhere? We bought them. Um, you will find out, particularly in the combos, during the mango season, a whole pan of say um, 20 kilograms will cost around 200 dollars so mango is always available um, at the market so it does not cost much and uh, if you process it you can reserve it for one year one year six months to two years and you can always use it and get fresh mango yeah. Okay. Um, very interesting. But are you thinking of expanding this processing plant? Um, or is uh, so that Gambians could be able to depend on it? Because, from my understanding, this shouldn't be able to sustain everyone in this country. Yeah. Actually, when we were trained by our partners, Help for West Africa, they said we should in turn train other Gambians, particularly the women farmers, so that. The huge number of mango that are wasted in the country will be of good use. And so we are also going into the villages. Uh, we have been to Pirang, Serekundaring, Kuloro, um, Kembuje, and we have plans to go and extend the training to other villages, particularly in the West Coast region. So that um, mango jam processing, or processing in particular, can expand in the country? Exactly. Um, it will enable our women and farmers to preserve and use mango throughout the year. It can also be a source of uh, income generating. But again, processing something uh, without the market base, um, it's very difficult. Uh, when it comes to your processing plant, are you able to pro um, sell all the produce that you have made here, especially the mango jam and the granite cake? No, actually, marketing is a constraint for us. 
but our mango jam plant is supported by the Gambia Growth and Competitiveness Project. They have approved some money grant for us. Uh, we want to use that grant to launch a consultancy that would enable us to um, establish markets in hotels, in supermarkets, and we hope to like, launch that consultancy very soon. Well, about two years ago, one hotel used to come and buy uh, mango jam for us. So for each 200 bottles we process, selling them at uh, $60 a pop bottle, we gain 12000 And our total expenditure, mango, bottle, sugar, etc., usually amounts to 4000 So of every 200 bottles, we used to have a $8,000 a profit. Which is, it's profitable. Uh, yeah, it's very profitable. Uh, thank you very much, sir. It was a pleasure. Thank you. I was your host, Rahi Bitei, once again. Thanks for the pleasure of your company. Till I come your way next week to bring you more interesting programs. Stay tuned on GRTS. Good evening from Banjul and uh, welcome to the news at 8. First we begin with the headlines. President Jami stresses the need to enforce anti-littering laws to end uh, indiscriminate dumping on a surprise tour of streets on the capital city. Players in the business of school health and nutrition brainstorm on ways to promoting food safety and quality in schools as well as the personal hygiene of school food